We need a long-term strategy to a long-term issue and one that will continue. We don't need Band-Aid applications to a short-term solutions to a long-term problem. Very much like the things that have been accomplished in this state over the past decade with our pensions. The Republican majority inherited a pension system that was around 40 percent funded. But with long-term vision and with discipline, those pension funds today are around 70 percent funded to 100 percent funded, depending on which pension you want to look at. That took a period of time to achieve, but we're very much well served for it today. The state of Oklahoma and the legislature has also observed the need not only for a teacher pay raise, but for structural changes, and that needs to be incorporated in the vision. We need to incentivize career teachers. We need to honor teachers that have dedicated their lives, 25 plus years of service to education by creating a pay structure that allows them to grow, that somebody coming into the profession can say, although Oklahoma has the best starting pay in the region, I want to be able to end with the best pay after 25 years of service, after 20 years of service, after 15 years of service. This plan today is, is a plan that I think is achievable. It is one with a series of steps that can be realized quickly or on pace with certainty to our industry and one that puts us number one in the region and makes us very highly competitive in this nation. That's what we want to shoot for in the state legislature. We want to be number one in Oklahoma. We want to be number one in this region. Everybody will benefit from that. This plan is a phased-in approach. Uh, it's got six different steps. As the speaker said, we can accelerate those at any time, uh, depending on uh, the ability for people to work together. Uh, but it's also a plan, unlike any other plan we've seen, that we can achieve if, if we don't have any other partners. And we can give certainty to teachers that we are going to address the teacher pay raise this session. The first year of the plan will cost us roughly $114 million. Uh, when fully implemented, it'll move Oklahoma um, from the back of the heat all the way up to 18th in the country in pay and number three in the country when you adjust for cost of living. As the speaker alluded to earlier, that has not happened in uh, 40 years in the legislature for us to have a plan that would move us in that position to have the authority to do that. Oklahoma would get out of the export business of teachers and move into the import business. It gives us the ability from this day forward to put the nation on notice for all teachers across the nation to know that Oklahoma is open for business, we want your teachers, we've got a plan in place for them, and we are willing not only, as the speaker said before, to be number one in the region uh, in beginning salary, but to also be nearly 5,000 more than our competitor, Texas, down south after it's fully implemented. It moves our beginning teachers up $10,000 from where they're currently at, and a 20-year-plus teacher, when this thing is fully implemented, will see a 50% pay increase. 50% pay increase of over $20,000. No other plan can do that. We appreciate some of the other plans that were out, out there that, that gave us 4,000, 5,000, and 10,000. This is a plan that's sustainable. This is a plan that's long-term. We've heard this from day one since I've been here that we wanna see a long-term plan like Roads and Bridges, and we've seen the success there. They wanna see a long-term plan like we've done with pensions, and we've seen the success there. This is a plan that puts us on that path. It allows us to join arms with the House 
with, with Republicans, Democrats, senators. We don't care about the credit. We just want to make sure it happens. In Oklahoma, our beginning teachers and our 25-year career teacher, there's not a lot of difference in their salaries. In fact, the difference is only $10,725. And so no wonder our career teachers get uh, disgruntled and think they're not appreciated because the pay is not rewarding. In most careers, the entry-level person makes uh, quite a bit less than somebody who's been in the business for 25 years. And so that is what this plan will do. We will reward uh, a teacher who's given 25 years plus, they'll be earning 60000 in six years. And that does not include benefits. Okay, so we want to look here on the chart. Uh, right now, it is $45,245. Regional average is 48103 And so you can see we are down here at the bottom on the regional average. And so what this plan will do will bring us to the top of the regional average. We're going to be here at the very top. Well, right here is the regional average. We're going to be at 57,000. So this brings us way to the top in the region, and that's exactly what we want to achieve. If you look for a teacher who is uh, zero years experience, and they start out at 31,600, after they've been in this plan for six years, they'll be making 42400 That's an increase of $10,800 with a percentage of 34.18%. If you go on down to a 15-year teacher, start at $38,075. At the end of this plan, they'll be making $56,200. That's an increase of $18,125, a 47.6% increase. That is significant. 20 years is 40,200 to get to 60,000. That's a $19,800 increase at 49.3%. So we are talking significant gains um, for the career teacher. We want to reward the career teacher. We want to tell them we appreciate their expertise. We want them to stay in the profession and we want them to stay in Oklahoma. Uh, with this plan, we believe we will shut the exit gate, that they will actually stay in Oklahoma and in the profession. Uh, we uh, want to tell you a few benefits, too, for giving teachers a, a significant pay increase. It will increase uh, the economic development in their local communities. They'll be able to spend more income, purchasing more things. We'll have stability in the classroom. Uh, the students will not have to worry about their teacher. Are they going to be here next year? Are they going to leave? Also, the big bonus is that when a teacher retires, they can actually retire. If they stay at $60,000, let us say they stay in the classroom past 25 years for three years or past uh, when they achieve the $60,000 for three years, their Social Security goes up, as does their OTRS. Very, very important. So they can actually live on the retirement. We're hoping with this plan that teachers can quit their second and third jobs.